going on everyone this is your boy DJ Subtle with Subtle Production and this is going to be my attempt at an unboxing video uh, got a new I'm not going to say new toy but from what, I, from what my wife says it's a toy so uh, recently I just got the, the my Auto Professional Stealth Wireless System uh, this is basically used for Say for instance you're doing a reception or event and you need a separate a separate speaker in another room or outside and you're not really able to or maybe not even not don't want to uh, run extra XLR cables you know, along the hallways or doors or anything like that. Uh, this is a better way to do that. Uh, I've been waiting a while, deciding whether I was going to purchase it or not. Uh, I was convinced last Saturday uh, with a fellow DJ, DJ Well Blended, was doing an event here in Cincinnati, and I noticed that he was using them. I asked him about it and said they were great. So went ahead to uh, Z Zounds and uh, went ahead and made that purchase. Give me one second, let me adjust my audio here. Looks like I'm clipping a bit. Yeah, I'm doing this live. I'm not going to edit anything. That should be a little bit better. So, once again, this is the Alto Professional Stealth Wireless System. Uh, so we're gonna do an unboxing right now. And uh, being a big kid that I am, of course I already kind of unboxed it. But, anyway. So, in there, of course, you got you know the user guide that you know most of us really don't read. But it's important that you do read it because there are there's some information in there that is useful. You have your safety instruction and warranty information. Who really cares about that? Even though you should. You really should. So, in the box, you have your... You have your transmitter. Now, with the transmitter, you have two channels. Left and right. Get a little close to the camera here. You have your left and right channel, mono, stereo, your power button, and I think there's 16 channels on here that you can choose from. And on the back, you have your two antennas. Now you can do XLR or a line on either of the channels here, and then you have your power out. Now, this is not going to be a professional in-depth review and unboxing. This is just for me. And what I'll do is I'll, I will put a link to a, another video that goes more in-depth with this. So, and you also have your receivers. And these connect to your powered speakers. Do not connect these to your passive speakers, they will not work. So underneath you have your XLR connection and your power connection. Your antenna, you want to make sure your, ten your antenna is as high as possible to get the best quality uh, signal from the transmitter. You have your power button and your channel button. You have your RF light and your AF light. The RF is to make sure you have a signal. When this is eliminated, you have a signal coming from the receiver, well, the transmitter, and the AF light is illuminated when you're getting an audio signal. So if you're not getting a light from either of those, make sure you have your uh, power connected and make sure you're on the same channel. And on the side, you have your toggle switch for left and right channel. Uh, from your from your transmitter and they also have a squelch uh, switch that you can toggle uh, it's like the three toggle switch knowing me I'm going to keep that at the highest highest one but you get uh, if you get two receivers one transmitter uh, you'll have three three power cores one for the transmitter and two, one for each of your receivers. You have some lovely, just 
strips so you can uh, place your receivers onto your power speakers. Just like that. So make sure, you know the, uh, the logic, measure twice, stick once, you know? Very important. And you also have two XLR cables for your receivers because the receiver is going to stick to your speakers, obviously. So next up, we want to test this out. Oh yeah, my favorite part. Okay, real quick, before we move on to uh, testing the system out, there's one other thing I want to add that you get with this kit. You also get mounting brackets if your speaker has uh, like uh, mounting mounting posts in those. You get those. Maybe those go right here. There's a hole right here for your, uh, your mounting eyelet. And you also get some of these. Not really too sure what these do, but I'm sure they go for, for mounting. And you get some wood screws. Uh, make sure you measure once, do it twice, and make sure you don't get too close to the inside of your speaker. Didn't really damage it. Let's move on. Check out how this baby rolls. All right, currently I don't feel like setting up my large power speakers, so we're gonna use the studio speakers uh, to test this out. So right now I have this receiver set to channel one, the RF light is on, and I noticed the AF light isn't on, but I believe I have to turn the, the volume up to get a, to get a, uh, a good signal. So we're gonna test that out here in a second. And I have this set to the right channel of my uh, mixer. So we're gonna set this here and we're going to plug in the XLR and set that there. Give some power, make sure everything's turned down. As always make sure everything's turned, oops, turned down when you're doing things. And also see that the transmitter is also on channel one. And I have everything turned down here. And the XLR is also on the right channel. So what we're going to do, we're going to give it a signal. And we're going to see what happens here. A good signal. Let me take your clothes off right where you're standing at. Yeah. Have the shower on the baby. Get in there. Yeah. Have the candles lit all around the bedroom. Ooh. So you know, just what we're about to get into. So, you know, the ultimate test is to see if it works if we have the other speaker placed in another part of the house or let's actually do it outside. So when I come back, we're going to check it out outside. Okay, so now we're outside. We have another uh, 
studio monitor setup and I just wanted to show you the back because there's one thing that I'm going to touch on here in a moment but uh, we have our second receiver we have it set to our left channel we're out for this channel but uh, one accessory that you may want to look into is because when you're uh, plugging in your your power your power speaker uh, this has a needs power so it's good to get one of these piggyback adapters so you can plug both of them in and then you can just have one core coming out uh, I have a two foot one and you're going to after that look into getting like an extension extension cord but I don't want to wanted to show you that so I'll turn this back around And we're going to check out the signal when I run back inside. Actually, let's do this. This is what we're going to do. as long as my internet signal stays with me. So we have our one mixer, not mixer, but one, one uh, speaker here. And we're gonna uh, give it a signal. So I'm using my, I'm using my, my Mevo and my tap at the same time, so please bear with me. So we're going to give it a signal. So we have a signal coming through. Let's check out outside. But I would definitely suggest to musicians, fellow DJs, singers, let me turn this up so you can see the face. Yeah, so I would definitely suggest this to anyone that needs a uh, sound system in another part of the uh, room that you don't want to run extra cables to or another part of the house that you have barriers, things like that. Uh, I think it covers up about 200 feet, which is more than enough. Uh, there's expansion packs that you can pick up uh, that come with two more receivers so you can, you know, expand on your range. But uh, I definitely definitely would suggest this product to anyone that's interested. Uh, I got mine from Z Zounds. Uh, Z Zounds uh, was suggested to me by a fellow DJ and so I'm just paying this off which is pretty easy. I'll probably end up paying the rest of it here in a little bit. But uh, there's going to be a couple of things that you may want to add to your uh, to your setup when you get this product. We're going to go over that here right now. Okay, so like I said, you're going to need some more uh, accessories to go with the wireless system. Uh, I got some uh, 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 piggyback uh, adapters. I also got some Z-Downs. 
This is what I used for the uh, outside speaker. And it's basically you plug, you know, your three prong thing into the back of your speaker. Uh, this goes down to down the. Uh, actually, I'm just expanding on this here a little bit. Goes just goes down your uh, your speaker uh, stand. Then you can plug in your um, your receiver right there. Now, of course, seeing that this is only two feet, it's not going to go all the way down to your to the bottom of your stand. So, I actually got these Insignia extension cords. They're about nine bucks at Best Buy. Uh, Insignia is a, a really good brand to work with. Uh, but I got like about six foot. That should give me enough length to uh, get to where I need to get to to plug my speakers up. So I'm getting text messages from a potential client. Work, work, work. So it's a pretty good length. Uh, you can get a longer length uh, if you'd like. But it's very simple, you just plug into that, right there, and you're good to go. You have a nice, let's see, you got about eight feet, eight feet right there. So plenty of space uh, to hook everything up. But, uh... One thing I always tell DJs and anyone in general, uh, make sure you have a case or a bag or something to protect your equipment. Uh, I actually have a separate bag for all of my cords and everything, uh, zip ties, things of that nature. I never, I never keep the zip ties that come with the cord because they're pretty flimsy. I have uh, like real zip ties. So, uh, Hope you liked the video and uh, can't wait to do the next one. Okay, tonight we are in Middletown uh, for a community event and we're gonna test this out live today. So as you can see behind me, I've got one set up over there. And See that I can't flip this. So, we're gonna flip it and do this again. Okay, so as you can see, I have it on, it's set to channel one. I'm gonna have my level set here. And we're gonna go to the back. Don't mind the cores. Just so we have it on, I mean, I can make sure I keep it on right to right, left to left. And on the back here, you'll see that I have the unit also on channel number one. And I have this one set on the left channel. I have my squelch turned high. So you have your XLR going to my one channel. And I have my piggyback cord there. I have that going down to the outlet. And the same over there. So, as you can see, I hope I don't fall off the stage. You can see there's only cord, you can see is my extension cord. So, we're gonna try this out here. Great. I'm a happy camper. So as you can see, it works great. So we'll be here for a few hours and uh, I'll take a couple of videos of me uh, doing my thing and checking out for yourself. And I'm gonna go check out this ice cream truck.
See you on the next video.